Hello, um, so, hi guys, we've just released uh, SPG Jousting on our site. Uh, if you go to our Facebook group page, uh, it's in the file section. Uh, we've done a uh, video covering the rules. Um, here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and this video, this building middle ass, is a special to do with uh, building jousting terrain that you can use for the game. Uh, even if you don't play SVG and you're just into medieval or fancy role playing games and war games, this could be quite interesting to project to do. Um, it's uh, it's going to be three pieces. You're going to get the actual jousting tilt barrier. You're going to get a fence that goes around it, and you're going to get the jousting uh, spectator stands. So um, there's most of it's quite simple. So the tilt barrier and the uh, fencing, quite simple to do, but probably the spectator stands are a bit more complicated. Um, but not not much, but just a little bit more complicated. Uh, interestingly, if you the fences, uh, the barriers, you can actually just use as normal fencing as well if you want. Um, feel free. So yeah, let's let's crack on. So we're going to make the uh, barrier uh, that will go round the uh, edge of the uh, jousting arena. Um, the technique that we're going to use for this, you can also just make normal fences out if you wanted to. But we're going to take make it out of a uh, coffee stirrer, and we're just going to get a pair of pliers. And where it's rounded at the end, we're just gonna snip it off, straighten it out, like so. And you will need two of those done. Then we're gonna take some um, one and a half inches worth of balsa wood down. And you need four of those. And something to base it on. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use corrugated card because I've got a lot of it. Probably pick a better base material if I were you. But corrugated card will do for now. And it's going to have to be about half an inch thick, and it's going to be the same length as your coffee stirrers. And that's what what we need to make the uh, make the barrier. So all you're going to do just get some glue, put it on the bottom of the dowel and just stick it at the end here like so and then just two more in oh, a bit too much glue two more along uh, sort of in the middle sort of dividing it evenly so you're probably better off measuring it I'm just going to do it by eye up to you and what you want to do is uh, leave the glue to go off for a bit and then we're going to glue these in place so I'll leave this for five or so minutes and then we'll come back when, when, it's, uh, when it's dry and I'll glue those in place okay what we're going to want to do now it's dried a bit is get the uh, get the support parts glued in get some glue get sort of Lob here on each post. A bit too much on that bit there. Stick your get support beams in. So, what you want to do is make sure they all match up when you make all your others. Just line them up. So if I've got some here, really pre-painted, some work on them. Okay, I'm say line up either side. See here, I'm way out. So just squidge them in. Like so, put that to one side to dry. With it um, now all dry, you're gonna paint it brown. Uh, I'm gonna use this, it's called Java Bean. Uh, and it's effectively like a, uh, a Rhinox hide. It's gonna be like that. I've already got this one done. Uh, and then what you can do is dry brush it with what be a carrot stone uh, type of brown. This is called uh, Woodland Fawn. Uh, get some paint on. Just gonna 
with a heavy dry brush. Like so. And what that will do is it will end up looking like this. Don't do the base. Once all that's dry, we can then flock the base. Next up, we want to flock it, so I'm just going to cover the base in PVA, slightly walk it down, and just get your flock on now. Get your flock on. And that's it. Wipe off any excess where the glue's got underneath it, tap it off, and that's it flocked. Leave that, put that to one side to dry, now to do all the rest. Next up is probably the most important part of this, it's the wooden tilt barrier. Now for this we're going to just make it out of two strips of foam, both 18 inches long. One is an inch uh, high, and one's half an inch high. And ultimately what's going to happen is this is going to be glued onto there like so, forming the barrier. And then our knights are going to joust across the barrier like so, so that. But before we do that, I want to add a bit of detail onto this, so I'm going to get a ballpoint pen and a ruler and we're just going to score some some planks down here. Go down, I don't have an 18 inch ruler so I'm just going to move the ruler down like so. I'm going to do another one, and don't worry, we're not going to film and watch me do this. But we're going to do that, and I'll just do a few down this end, this this side, as you can see. And we're going to make it planking, so we're just going to add sort of a planking detail into uh, into it, like so. And you have that going on and what I should do I should carry on doing this and this and this side but before, and with them but before we glue it on we are going to get some coffee stirrer things and we're just going to glue these at intervals uh, few intervals now if it's going to be six inches or three inches I want it to be a measure of distance, probably five inches actually. Five inches and maybe a few more in the middle. I'll, I'll work it out. I'll, I won't think I'll work it out, but that's what we're going to be doing now. So the barrier is complete. Uh, what I've done is I've put a little joint pattern on the saw, put the coffee stir sticks on and stuck the top bit on. That's what it kind of looks like. Got that. Uh, for purposes of the game that this is intended for, the attain in the middle is worth more points in the game and so there's a little four inch section either side of the middle so two inches each side so that's what these represent and I'll probably might even do something the paint job here or something do something here but we've got a base it now so I've just got a 20 inch piece of card I'm just going to stick that on in the middle so that's just a case of running a bit of glue down there and sticking it on leaving it to dry and I'm going to paint it next so I'm going to do that now ok, uh, good on the base glued in but before it dries and before we can paint it I just want to add in some embraces which are just little bits of coffee stirrer that are just going to fit in the end here just like so I'm going to glue that in place and then we can let it dry and paint it it's uh, now painted painted pretty much the same as the uh, barriers. All we've got to do now is flock it. Now for this I'm going to flock it in stages. It's probably going to be a bit too, too much to do in one go so I'm probably just going to put little sections like this either side. Probably a few like six inch sections like so. And then what I'm probably going to do is leave like an inch, let it dry off a bit and come back to it. And this with a bit of watered down brush I'm going to move the glue around. Don't forget to get 
hit the edge of the end. Now, so I'll carry on flocking this off camera, and that's this done. So, we've got the main part of the terrain made, which is the actual tilt barrier, and we've got a fence barrier around that. I thought to take it to the next level and make some uh, spectator stands that you see in sort of jousting. So, for this, we're going to get a piece of foam three inches by three inches, and what you want to do is come in and draw. Divide it into three even pieces, so three one inch sections. Then come up on one, so this is what you're ultimately going to work on. We can do it. So you then got the three inch lines, and you come up here two inches, draw a line, come up here an inch, and draw a line, and come up here an inch and a half, and draw a line. And then you're going to cut that out, and you'll have two sides that match, and these are going to be the end pieces of the stand. You're also going to need two one inch by eight inch pieces. What these do when they're cut out, they're going to sit here and here. That all in stands, just the bits where people can sit and stand. And you're going to need one that's eight inches by two inches. And this, draw a line sort of down the middle and then divide in two. Then here, halfway through, you come out, you draw a little square of an inch, so four inch mark, do a half inch either side, you're just going to cut out this bit here and this will be how people would get to it, there'll be a little stairs here, I don't know if I'm actually going to bother making them but I might do, see, see what happens, so I'm going to cut this out just to show you this bit and the other bit quickly because it won't take long, I'll do this on camera so you don't damage either side. So you can't just cut like that because we want this other side. So you have to think about how you're cutting this. Uh, he says as he, yep, almost made a mistake. They come in here, they cut this here as well. Let's see what I'm doing. And you're just gonna cut this little half inch section here this little half inch section here and so we end up with two of these and these can form the end bits and these will get glued onto it like so now one now and then this bit goes to the back here and the stairs will be here so but before we glue it you want to do a uh, I'm going to put a log pattern on so it would actually sit like that you do a log pattern there and what we are going to need actually which I've forgotten about is a a, a second bit that's not quite it's going to be seven and a half inches, so I'll do that in a minute. It's going to go on the front here. So I do that. For the pattern here, the side bit, you're going to go this bit's horizontal and this bit's vertical. So we're just going to score a brick pattern, uh, brick pattern, so you to doing brickwork, a plank pattern, like so. taking more time than me and just come along and do some I know bits of planking in here just so you can see that it's made up of different bits of wood so do that on the other side do that on the top bit and even though I haven't got it on camera there's a bit that's seven and a half inches uh, I might quickly cut that now and come back hold on so we've got our 
seven and a half inch piece. The reason I want to show you this because on this you just want to do vertical lines on it all the way along. So I'll carry on doing this. All right, we'll come back. Assembly of it is quite easy. I'm gonna get some glue, a bead down this end, and a bead down this end. So I'm just gonna pop that up there and pop that up there. Fantastic. Next, you just put the uh, seat in on. So for that. Glue around there, glue there, and glue down the long end. There we go. So much easier when you don't do this on camera, of course, because I can't see the front properly. I want my big head leaning over. There we go. On on this one. I'm just gonna put this one on either end, not down the long end on this one because there's nothing to go on here. What I'll do is quickly put it together and then I'll probably off camera tidy up the uh, the build and it's gonna be the same for this for the going get off so we're gonna Either end, get some glue. I'm just going to plonk it on the top. And what I'm going to do now off camera is straighten it all up, but that's pretty much it. Just leave that to dry now. And once it's dry, we're going to build the wooden barrier that will go around the edge in here. We're going to make that out of coffee stirrers. But yep, I'm going to tidy this up because it's a bit wonky in places and stuff. I've done it on camera and leave it to dry. I'll just quickly show you this, I've got a set square out to level it out and a flat end here just so I can get it all straight and non wonky I think that's it. Leave that to dry now. So while this is drying, you've got to make another one of these like this and another one, the third one, which you've got here. This will be the raw box. Now this is pretty much exactly the same except for this bottom step here going to have a four inch overhang in the middle. So dignitaries royalty and all that can have a good view. So it's just made exactly the same way, assembled exactly the same way, except for a four inch overhang. We've all built and glued and dried now. We need to make the outer, uh, outer frame. So you can see I've prepared some um, cut bits of wood. going to make it out of coffee stirrers and some balsa wood down. First thing you're going to need is some coffee stirrers and these are going to be uh, two and a quarter inches roughly uh, and they're going to go I'm going to put one on the end here, one on the end here and then some in the middle. So I'll fold do this and then we'll take it from there Something like that next we need to uh, put the um, higher back beams on for this we're going to use wooden dowel and, up, and this is going to be three and a quarter inches so what this will ultimately give you and the front here so these are an inch above the floor here and these will be an inch above the back stand here I've already pre-glued where I'm going to do it just to speed this process up but we're going to put one here like so, and one on the opposite side. And we're going to put one, and this is going to be quite difficult because you don't have a lot to glue it on because you've only got that there. Oops, that's fell off. Uh, yeah. And after this, you can see why we're going to let it dry before we move on to any next stage. We're just going to put this here, like so. I'm not going to lift it up anymore at this stage because these will fall off before they've dried. Put this here. This will go here. And the last one will go 
here. And what you want to do is make sure they're level. We're going to leave them to dry for a bit just to uh, make the next bit easier when we're messing around with the uh, um, barriers along the side because we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue some barriers here I'm also gonna glue some along here like so you really don't want to be doing this until it's drew blind the glue's gone off a bit <laughs> and what I'll do is so I'll let this dry and we'll come back when I've when it's dry and I've got the ability to speak okay uh, so it's dried and I've added in the other bits I've added in two support bits at the back here and these are one and a half inches we then put two beams across here that are three and a half inches and on from going down from the top here to the top here is another one and that's three and a quarter inches and then let that dry first and then I'm gonna we're gonna come back and do the uh, barrier along here and I think that will be it's done then so next up we're gonna put the uh, support beams along here uh, so we're gonna put on one here one here and one here now to make these what I did was is I put a coffee stirrer up against it and just marked off using a pen the angle and cut it and then what I, all I'm going to do is just put the glue on and pop these in like so and there's uh, some for both sides do this do this and then repeat for the bottom and so I'll do that leave that to dry and then we're just going to put the barriers along here and we're going to call this done so now it's all, all that's left to do is just put a couple of beams across here and it's going to be done from coffee stirrers again but they're not going to be long enough to reach across so you do it in two pieces uh, putting a join behind this support post here so it goes be glued on here like that and then this one comes in underneath and it's glued on there so you do one there and then one about halfway down so uh, and when you've done that it will look like that at the front you can see the join there and that's it you put this aside obviously I've, I've made two Put this to one side and let it dry and we're going to make a third one but this one will be the royal box the next step for the royal box is just going to make a front here a little uh one section it's just made out of three and a half by one inch foam plank pattern put in and one inch side pieces again plank pattern put in so i'm gonna just glue it in and let it dry whack this in so and once that's dry we're going to make the canopy because the raw box is going to have a upper canopy so uh, I'll just carry on doing this and I'll show you when it's done and dry so that's how the front looks now uh, what we're going to do is put some support beams in uh, because it's going to have a canopy these are going to be higher than we did before and I'm making them out of balsa down uh, the front two here are four and a half inches high. Just gonna put that here. And the back ones I'm gonna need four of are five and three quarters and they're just going to go here 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 and here kind of like how the, the normal ones are and then just again like the normal ones you have two supports at the back which are the same size so I'll get glue in these and show you when it's glued done and dried our support beams on now and now we're just going to go put the cross beams on um, 
these are made from same sort of strips of dell but they're eight inches across so we're just gonna dab some glue on here and then just put them on taking a little pop a little bit more work than the uh, normal box but you'd expect that being this is the royal box so I'm just going to put that on so we got that sort of thing going on we're still going to put the uh, do this thing with the uh, cocktail um, coffee store is here and here and here and here and then we're just going to put a beam going across here and then we're going to make a roof as well for it so that's it so next we're just going to put the M beam on here like so. Uh, to do this, a bit of dowel here, and just put your piece on like so and just mark to put a mark on and that is where you cut. So what you do is you then cut it And we'll glue it in place. And that should now fit in like so. A couple of drops of glue in the end. You want a bit of card that is uh, eight and a half by four and a half, and on one side just clad it in uh, coffee stirrers. And then what we're going to do is on the back here, you we'll get a bit of dowel, just slightly less than the roof, definitely length of the roof. Just going to glue it at the back. And this will act as a, this will hold it in place when it's on, stop it slipping off. If you want this to be removable, if you want to put any uh, miniatures on the inside of it, you just do there. And that will just rest on like so, just hold it in place. You can take it off and get inside. then look like that. All that's left to do is leave it all to dry and we're going to paint it in the same way as the fences and the tilt barrier. We're pretty much done. One last thing I want to do, sorry about the dark, um, my lamp I never use isn't in the room so uh, it normally lights it up. But anyway, I want to add some heraldry on here. So over at the Tales of Middle Earth Facebook group in the file section, you'll be able to download this, which is uh, Gondorian banners. So you got some Minas Tirith type ones here, um, standard Gondorian stuff. Got some Dol Amroth stuff, um, uh, Black Root Vale, uh, Panagelin, Panagelin, whatever it's called. Uh, my Lost Snack stuff, which I always do red and yellow with this emblem. Uh, it's lost now, uh, and Lamedon, which I've just made look like a Scottish flag because they look like they're Scottish. But you don't have to use those if you don't, it's just what I use for my But I'm going to make this, being this drawer box, I'm going to have print in real in this, so I'm going to use it as a Dalamroth sort of bounce. So I'm going to use this one to have at the front. I'm going to put these down the sides here. So that's my plan. So I'm going to cut these out and experiment and see what's what and stick them on.
Thanks for watching, we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Stick with the channel for many great videos to come.